what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i'm going to give you an introduction into the cartesian coordinate system all right sometimes it's also called the rectangular coordinate system so i'm going to teach you a lot of important basic concepts with this thing i'm going to teach you how to plot points i'm going to teach you what the quadrants are and also what ordered pairs are and how we write them all right so first of all let's break down what this thing is so as you can see i have two like really big thick lines okay these are called your axes axes okay and each one has a specific name so this horizontal one this is called your x axis and this vertical one is called your y axis okay and what these axes represent are essentially number lines okay you can kind of think of these as number lines so this x-axis, you can think of this middle part right here as where the number zero is, okay? And then this is one, two, three, four, five, right? All the way to basically positive infinity. You could go forever, okay? But again, in the other direction, this would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, right? All the way to negative infinity, okay? And the y-axis works the same way. So when you go up, so this would be one, two, three, four, right? And it just keeps going up to, I'll just write it over here, positive infinity, okay? As you go up. And then as you go down, the numbers go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, right? All the way down to negative infinity. Okay, so that's how the axes work. And also one last thing I wanna point out about these is this spot right here where they intersect, this is called the origin. Okay, this is your origin point. And a lot of times you're gonna see an O, the letter O next to this point right here because it's denoting that that is the origin, okay? Now, the other thing I want to go over are the quadrants. So as you can see, this graph right here basically has four different sections, right? There's this one up here on the right, the top right, top left, bottom left, and bottom right, okay? So we split these up into quadrants and each quadrant has its own name which they're just numbered. Okay, so I'll write it right here. So this right here is quadrant one. Okay, this corner piece up here. Now, I'm not sure why we still write these using Roman numerals, as because that's what this is. This is the Roman numeral for number one, uh, but you can also write it as just the number one like that. Okay, and then this quadrant over here, the top left one, this is quadrant number two. And there's a two right there. This one down here, so you basically go counterclockwise, okay? You start up here and then you come down here counterclockwise. So this is two and then this is three right here. Okay, three. And then this last one down here is quadrant four. Okay, so you can see we have four total quadrants, right? Okay, and now the last thing I wanna cover are ordered pairs. So ordered pairs just give you the coordinates of a point. Okay, and ordered pairs, they're always written inside of parentheses, and then your coordinates are written in the form x comma y. Okay, so this first number right here tells you how many spots you move along the x axis. And then this second number right here is gonna tell you how many spots you move along the y axis. Okay, so let's plot a few points just so you can kind of get the gist of this. So let's plot the points Let's say two, three, uh, let's do negative five, one, then we'll do negative two, negative four, and lastly, we'll do nine, negative three. Okay, so starting with this first coordinate point right here, two comma three. Okay, so this first number, remember, tells you how many spaces you move along the x-axis. Or another way you could think about it is, this number tells you how many spaces you move side to side, okay? And then this second number, the y number, tells you how many times you move up and down, okay? So in this case, we have a positive two and a positive three, okay? And it's really important to point out that you always start from the origin, okay? So we're gonna start at the origin right here. And remember, this is the positive x direction, right? So we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna move three spaces in the positive y direction. So then we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, so this point right here is the point two comma three. 
All right, let's try another one. So this next one is the point negative five comma one, right? So here we're gonna move negative five spaces in the x direction and then one space in the y direction. Okay, so remember this is the negative x direction, right? So we're gonna go negative five spaces. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. And then we're gonna move one spot in the positive y direction, right? So we're gonna go up one to right there. Okay, so this spot right here is the point negative five comma one. Okay, let's try a couple more. So next we have the point negative two comma negative four. So again, this means we're gonna move negative two spaces in the x direction, and then we're gonna move negative four spaces in the y direction, okay? So we're gonna go negative one, negative two in the x direction, and then negative four spaces in the y direction. So that means we're gonna go down this time. So we're gonna go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, so this spot right here is the point negative two comma negative four. Okay, and then this last one right here is the point nine comma negative three, right? So we're gonna move positive nine, right? This is positive nine spaces in the x direction, and then we're gonna move negative three spaces in the y direction. Okay, so coming back to the graph, we're gonna start at the origin again and then move positive nine spaces in the x direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna move negative three spaces in the y direction. So again, we're gonna go down, right? So negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, so this spot right here is the point nine comma negative three. Okay, and one last thing I wanna point out is whenever you're plotting points, you're gonna start noticing a pattern, okay? Because once again, so we're, we're starting at the origin, right? This is the positive x direction, and this is the positive y direction, right? So can you see if you have, if you're plotting two positive numbers, right, if they're both positive, you're gonna land somewhere in here because you're gonna move in the positive x direction and the positive y direction. So you're always gonna land somewhere, somewhere here in quadrant one, okay? And similarly, Remember, this is the negative x direction, right? And this is the negative y direction. So if you ever plot a point that is a negative number and then a comma positive number, you're always going to land somewhere in the second quadrant up here, okay? Because if you're plotting a negative number and then a positive number, remember this is your x, this is your y, right? So you're gonna move in the negative x direction and then you're gonna move in the positive y direction. So you're always gonna land somewhere here in quadrant two, okay? And if you ever plot a point that is a negative number comma another negative number, like this one right here, you're always gonna land somewhere here in quadrant three, okay? Because you're gonna move in the negative x direction and then you're gonna move in the negative y direction. So you can see you're gonna land somewhere in this third quadrant, right? And then lastly, like this one down here, if you ever plot something that is a positive number comma, a negative number, you're gonna land somewhere in this fourth quadrant, okay? Because you're gonna move in the positive x direction and then in the negative y direction. So you're gonna always land somewhere here in the fourth quadrant, okay? So definitely work on noticing these patterns, these four patterns, when you're plotting points, okay? Because it's gonna be a great way, an easy way, that you can check your answers and make sure it makes sense. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.